sofa6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour Well hello Good evening Welcome It is Monday night and according according to Cats Mac Pro it is just after 2100 hours and here's me thinking she's sitting there glued to the clock and it's counting her down. Now we know. I'm not jealous. <laughs> Definitely not jealous. I am. No, no. I am. I am. Um, yes, good, good evening. And, and, and here we are, as per usual, on a Monday night at around about nine o'clock. Or in this case, it was exactly nine o'clock. At least it was when we started it away. Um, you might be getting it a little bit later than that. That's due to the, uh, the the processing that happens on both streaming video provider and YouTube. But in the studio tonight, we have in the cat house for it is she, the one and only cat, Chris. How are you, diddling cock? I'm canny. I'm in fact, I'm very well tonight. Very well indeed. The scrape still scraping. I'll, it, it's scraping along. I'll just I'll be going back to it in a second or two. So right I'll update you as we, as we go through the show. Oh, it's going to be an updated job. I like that. I like that. It's, it is live and off the cuff. This is, it's live and off the cuff. It's the way we do it. And also, my, oh, my next door neighbour, my best mate, my best buddy, my pal, my friend, matey oh, bloke, he skipped Jack and me go. It's Keith. How are you doing? Good evening. I'm very well, thank you. That's what we like to hear. Yes. How's life been treating you? Been sat out in the sun yesterday? I, I was most surprising, really, to get a couple of hours sun. Lovely, wasn't it? My wife actually went and put some sun cream on her oh, face. I thought you were going to say she went and put some clothes on there uh, for a no, minute. No, no, it wasn't that warm. No. Yes, sun cream on. I, 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 yeah. A contrast to today. Yes, it's been chucking it down today. Mm. It's not good at all. My astro turf's all wet. Oh, his astro turf. It's never good when you get your astro turf wet. But tonight, on tonight's show, we've got the ultimate in stealth devices. This has come from Scotland. I, I'll explain more about that when we get to it. But seriously, pff, it's magic. I'm telling you, it's brilliant. You're going to love it. We're also going to be looking at this thing, which is um, I'll go to Dave Cam. Go to Dave Cam. We're going to be looking at this, and that's which, class. Isn't which is it? It's a t it is, isn't it? TNS hybrid on a Poldiac. It's the TNS Poldiac hy hybrid, and it's it's something else. I mean, it really is something else, and that was because I'd flooded it. Can you believe I flooded it? Well, I tried that yesterday over the garden fence. Wasn't it over the garden fence? That's better. Hell. There we go. That's working. So we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be talking about... Chris, what are you doing? Yeah. Hmm? There was a funny rustling there. Your microphone must have been rubbing against I'll you. I probably uh, have caught my microphone. Yes. Right. I, I, I thought for a minute. I will move it there. I thought. That's I thought better. there was something had gone wrong there, because no. I couldn't see what you were doing. Because um, I was looking at anyway. Yes. Um, where was I? What else? Oh, you'll find out what we're looking at as we go through the show. See if we can get this one all together. Are you ready? So, hello, <coughs> good evening, and welcome to the Heels Hour. hour. Good God, I can't believe we all did it together again. God, God. So there you are. It's the Here's Hour on a Monday night. I think I might have said Thursday at the top of the show. I didn't really mean to. Um, but yes, it's the Monday following the Saturday that was at the knees meet, which I think you enjoyed particularly much this time, did you not, Chris? I loved it. I really had a great time. Everything was spot on. The company, the 
everybody that was there, the atmosphere, the, the locals, the weather wasn't bad, the food was gorgeous. I, t- I even, wait for this one, Dave. I even liked the coffee. My God. Is that unusual? Who are you and what yeah. have you done with Chris? <clears throat> Who are you and what have you done with Chris? Because that's just, <laughs> it's never been heard, that. What's normally wrong with the coffee? Well, I, I kind of stand the it, coffee and everywhere I go. If I can paraphrase Chris the way she would normally speak, she would normally say, Hey, you tried the coffee at such and such a place? And I'll say, Aye. So, what do you think of it? Why? It, it, it's coffee. What do you think of it? It's shite. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's, that's an actual quote in inverted commas. So he enjoyed That's an the coffee. Quote from me, yeah. And you were trying all kinds of acigs as well, because I was watching. Oh, I had a go at some canny ones, some geek biggins, <laughs> and some little ins. It, it, right. went, it went from the sublime <coughs> to the ridiculous. It has to be said. <laughs> at one point in time, there is Cat sat with a 26650 Greenleaf 722 in her hands. And I'm not kidding you, this is about the size of a Coke bottle. Not a two litre one, but a, a Coke bottle. And she's holding that in her hand. She's, Dave, what? We, we need to get some of these. <laughs> was what hey, she said. It's good, wasn't it though? Have we seen one? Um, we haven't seen one yet, but I've been making inquiries. And I have, uh, I have posted a little email me when they are in thing. And, and, and if the vendor is watching, and I can't remember the name of the vendor, but if the vendor is watching, you're probably going to need to hang on to five. He hasn't got any at the minute. He's out of stock. I know. Do they chi- take, what, half a pint of juice? Or? Well, it d- depends on what you put on top of them, but they take a 26650 battery, so that's 4,000 milliamps. And you, you t- twist it and tip it to change the wattage and stuff like that. So I'm, oh, I'm right. desperate to get one for Chris because I want us sitting there in the cat house tipping this thing left, right Sounds and centre. Sounds a bit like a bobo in size, is it? No, much bigger. No, much, much, much bigger. Bigger and nicer in right. stainless steel and stuff like that. It's gorgy mouse. You'd love it. It's not shirt pocketable. It doesn't sound it, no. It's not. But there was all <clears> kinds, <throat> absolutely all kinds there and lots and lots of people were... Uh, were quite taken by the Poldiac TNS hybrid that we're going to have a look at. Oh Lord, I've left me Skype on, haven't I? Excuse I people, you'll be able to see what I'm doing now. I forgot to go do not disturb. I have gone do not disturb now. Right, that's that's because David is an idiot. I am an idiot. Yeah, there's a lot of people had a play with this and there'll be one or two of them uh, in chat. And Silver074 said yes, it is the seven 22, 7-22, what's well, 7 in words and 22 W uh, from Greenleaf. I was talking to the, uh, the Chinese producers of it earlier on today and they say they've just had a litter. Mm-hmm. If you can, that was what she said, they've just had a litter. So I'm hoping and trusting they're going to be back in stock in the UK um, within a couple of weeks, I hope. I've pulled my wire out again. I keep doing this. Oh. Well, I like we'll them. I mean, I certainly like that uh, Poldiac that you've got. It's just beautiful. It is beautiful, yes. Well, it, it was, is. It was beautiful. It's slightly corroded now. Um, but I want to look at that in, 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 in the second bit, really, um, because I've, it's a clever piece of kit, and it's, it's serving me extremely nicely, and it, it doesn't half put the vapour away. Um, Max Heiter said, very, mi- very nice mod, Dave. The flavour was lush. Um, we don't know, Leanna Lawless, whether it's kittens or puppies that they've had a litter of. Actually, it's 722s they've got a litter of. Sprotty says, he loved it as well, if you're watching in chat. And it produces... Uh-huh. I've double wicked it. On a, when we first looked, I had it... Oh, shall I do it now, Chris? Or shall I do the stealth device first? Well, you're into that um, now. I mean, you're right. Oh, yeah, God. You're you're <coughs> two bloody producers and a director yes, now. Sorry. Yes. I don't know. Right. Shall we? Okay, we will. I shall put Yes, the... okay. <laughs> we'll do a little bit of that and then I'll do it in stages because there's a lot of it. Let's go to Clercy Up Ecom and try and show you what it's all about. This is the device itself. Now, 
as per usual my sweaty mitts have been all over it so this was very very shiny brassy because i cleaned it on saturday um, and i've not really had much of a chance to give it a clean since then but it is in this case a hybrid he said trying to do everything on screen there's the top end of it now if you buy the poldiac by itself the there is a top cap that goes onto this and that would be your center connector there and that's adjustable so everything kind of gets where it needs to be let me run through it very quickly for you it doesn't just come in brass in fact it can come in anything you want let me take the bottom cap off and i'm going to say i am not a reviewer i was never a reviewer you need to have a look at Todd's reviews. He's had, Todd's had a look at it and done the whole break it down and put it back together thing way better than I ever could. You'll see that I've taken an 18500 out. It's an 18650 length. You can get them in 18650, 18500 and so on and so forth. But the clever part about it is, is that's the mod. Ah. It's a steel tube. All right. And it puts on what they call pants. This is the version 2. So you can put any pants you like on. I could, and I'm going to get the satin <coughs> stainless steel because patently I should never be allowed shiny brass because that was as shiny as a shiny thing when it came. The construction values are amazing. You will notice, of course, I have a kick too in this one uh, for reasons which will become apparent lately. I'm not going to pull the switch to bits, but again, everything, as you can see, is adjustable both top and bottom, all adjustable. These are rhodium plated over silver plated over whatever the metal underneath is. I believe it's stainless steel. Yes, moonlit pants. And believe it or not, that bit that's going around where the button is, is called a shirt. And the bit that goes around the tank is called a scarf. I didn't make any of this up. The button is magnetic, again, I'm, I'm going to say, if you want to see it all exploded, I've only had this since last Wednesday, and as you probably gather, I've really not had time to play. And when at first it arrived, I thought, how the hell do you switch it off? And then I discovered, you you twizzle the shirt over the button. You see that? Right. Twizzle the shirt over the button. And if you twizzle it round, you get to see your serial number. I don't know whether that's particularly visible there, is it? You can see yes. the serial number on that. So that's, that's the Poldiac section, if you like, um, and it is fairly straightforward. Um, I'll stick the button in, I won't, I'll do that in a minute. The atomizer, though, is something else entirely. Um, TNS stands for the next step, and I'll take it to bits, because I know how to do this. And you'll see this done as well on a bit of video I shot earlier. Just to try and run you through how the whole thing works. And here, as per usual, this is one of the reasons I'm doing it late. is because my fingers get awfully slippy. You know what I mean, Chris. There we go. Now, this is, this is what they call the quick way. This airflow control I'll go into in a little bit more depth in a second. But I'm just going to take the chamber off. And here you'll see... If I run you through it, set up for twin uh, wicks, but the, the wick hole, whether you're using steel, wool, whatever you're using, makes no odds, it's four and a half milli millimetres is that hole, four and a half millimetres, which means you can put, Christ, you can put any size coil you want together. Yes, Lena Marie Popatos, and I've got slippy fingers, slippy, not sticky. Sticky fingers is something entirely different. I hope it's close up enough for people to say I don't have magic closey up cam. These two bits of steel at the side are filling rods because it fills through these little holes. <coughs> and those little filling rods, filling tubes, fit into those holes quite sturdily and then they poke through the chamber. And let me Basically, what we're looking at inside is not massively different from what you would find in any Genesis atomizer, except that because of the size of that hole, the two were uh, wick holes, much, much easier to wick with something big and easier to get a big coil if that is your bent. Um, I find it quite easy to use. It's quite easy to put together uh, 
the only difficult bit is that but when you've got the two filling tubes out of the way it's dead easy to get on with and of course you get a whole barrel load of bits and bobs along with it when you get it this is this is a small selection of what full spare set of o-rings and seriously the guys that invented this could give him a run for his money it's it's o-ring city but it's worth it you get two drip tips um, a delrin one and a stainless steel one you also get some mesh if that's the bent that you're going to go down and then a box of spares uh, or a bag of spares but in amongst the bag of spares is the clever bit and that's this here it's an airflow control plug and this fits into the spare wick hole if you're only running one wick you take the screw out and what have you and it just slots in there and that blocks off the air pretty well uh, so if you're running a single wick setup <coughs> it works very nicely um, you've also got a tool for aligning the button for when you change it two spare springs one for the button if you don't want to use the magnets that are already in it and a spare negative contact because you can also put the switch on the bottom end and have it fire with your little finger if that's what you want to do and I'll I'll oh, video right. something on that for another show like I say I've only had it a week so this isn't a review I'm just looking at it because I'm really rather chuffed with it the airflow ring the scarf as it's called I believe has eight different settings and each one of those is infinitely variable between tight shut and as airy as the size hole will let you have and you can see I've got it set at the minute with the, the, the biggest massivest hole that one and then there's a slightly less massive one and then a narrower long one a narrower still two holes a bigger than a little one two little holes and then a little hole by its tod and a tiny weeny hole and each of those can be slid so far over the slot that's in um, in the chamber itself and again you should be able to see I think just if I swizzle it around there, there's the size of the slot that's in. The other thing that's of note, and you'll not be able to see this awfully well unless I can, I can't move it. There's a little um, lug there that fits into a recess there. So that when you put the chamber back on, it's in the right location for the whole thing to be lined up because these two uh, fill tubes line up with the two holes that are on the top of the chamber itself and this is supposedly the quick way of doing it which it is if you can get it to thread there we go and I'm all fingers and thumbs as per usual I do apologize cross threaded it this is why I sometimes think I ought to pre-record these you know there we go and look watch as I'm screwing it down you'll see that the airflow suddenly stops that's because that lug has located and the two um, filling tubes are now located underneath these little black o-rings so I'll just tighten that down and again using a cloth because I'm all greasy and sticky and well not sticky but slippy which is never good so I'll just tighten that down And one of the biggest biggest bugbears I've had with Jenny's for a donkey's age is the fact that I'm always but always making a mess when I go to uh, to fill them, you know. Not anymore. Right. And then the top cap goes on, and this is this is a bit clever as this. As I screw that on, and I don't know whether you'll be able, you can see there it's silver behind them. The two little holes, um, hole there and hole there, but they will align perfectly so you get black behind them and then your syringe will just drop in there to fill it up so you don't need to take it to bits in order to make it work, which is rather clever I think. I'll stick it back on. Um, yes, that was concentrated. <coughs> what do you make of it then, Chris? 
It's just a bloody work of art. Oh, it, it is, is, isn't it? it? It's been so well thought out. Um, the biggest thing that impresses me, of course, is the ability to have um, the bottom button as well as the side button, so it's there to please everybody. Yeah, you can set it up anywhere you like. I haven't played with That's it. That's the first. I've never seen that anywhere else before. It's it's new to me. I freely admit. And that atomizer, well, for people like me who have problems with the, the very small holes, whether they be filling or t to thread your feed into, um, have been a nightmare on that. There wouldn't be. No, it's, uh, it's an absolute doddle to fill. Just an incredible piece of engineering. It is rather pleasant, isn't it? So what's the juice capacity? In this setup, with the, the fact that it's got the uh, Pyrex tank in right. and the slotted um, bits and bobs, I'll go to, go to that camera, Pyrex tank and, and, and the slotted um, scarf, shirt, tie, whatever it is, um, it's four mil. All right. I think it's five mil if you've got the straight steel tank, but the, this is just the short TNS. The long TNS, eight mils maximum capacity. That would get most folks, I think, through. And in this dual wicked mode, my goodness me. So obviously it's got to be filled through the syringe. Well, it, de it depends. I mean, a lot of people now have these fittings for the syringes and for bottles yeah yeah and this makes life so much easier if you have a problem you know with the pressure on a normal syringe yes um that works so well so if you haven't got one of the bottles with the correct top one of these does the trick so well that you don't get juice all over the yeah. place yeah because on some of the finer ones for example that kind of bottle yes the needle is so fine that you tend to exert too much pressure and the juice comes out around here yes i've so found that before yeah. something like that would be ideal yes. for you keith yeah it it is i mean i'm i'm absolutely loving this thing well go on have a go so i mean you're saying you can you can in a sense customize it with these sleeves yeah so what you're saying is that it could be all stainless steel could be all, all stainless steel it could be polished it could be satin it could be brass it could be all kinds of stuff silver zero is saying how is the flavor dd compared to a k fun i'm gonna ask the people in chat to chime in on this the folks that, that tried it out on saturday single wick i think the flavor is superb it's batting flavor out and to the point where and I'll say this just before we go into the adverts. It's so powerful um, in, in that setup that I am using in it. Where is my bottle? And I'll go to close you up, you can't so you can see. That's what I'm using. And you can see what it says on it. It started me sneezing. Gesundheit, Keith. That is what I've got in it. There you go. That's what I'm using. It's 1.5%, 15 milligram juice. And I've been on 36 and 45 and 54 for as well as long as I can remember. And seriously, 15 milligram juice in this, especially now that it's double wicked. My God, it's banging it out. It's just oozing flavour. It, it does. It's really, really nice. Um, MG Jones has just fainted, I think. <laughs> in fact, everybody's saying it. Yes. DD is using 15 milligram in this um, and the flavour doesn't vary between the two. Rivian Man, yes, I know I'm a slacker, I'll freely admit that, but quite honestly I tried it with 36 and nearly fell off my chair. The reason being, what I discovered it is that it's, now there's Danfkex says you shouldn't compare it to a K-Fund, maybe you should compare it to a Kraken. 
And MG Drone 74 says, God, it really does hit hard. Anybody that was in chat, I'm going to take some adverts, clatter in what you thought of it so people in chat know, and uh, we'll, we'll try and pick some of the comments up. Anybody that's tried it, but seriously, I am so, so seriously impressed by this. We will be back uh, in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. In the middle bit, We'll probably, I'll show you how it, how it wicked up because I've invented, I don't think I've invented, but I've come across another way of wicking these things that makes life so much simpler. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Super6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out. And we is back in the room, and uh, yes, um, the comments in chat are all, it's amazing for lung, which it is. Uh, and I've got it set wide open at the minute, as you might have seen. And I'm lung hitting this thing, it's just, yes. But Keith was asking during the break, how much does it cost? I said, is it a smelling salts job? That's exactly what you said. Are you sitting comfortably? <whistles> Delivered via UPS and it was dispatched, I'm here to tell you, on Tuesday and arrived with me on Wednesday before I went to Glasgow. That's how quick it came, next day delivery effectively. <clears throat> 261 euros. If you say it fast, it's not expensive. Bloody hell, right. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's how much it costs. 261 euros delivered as the full thing. That's the lot. The atomizers are available separately at 129 euros, and I think the Poldiac itself, Poldiac V2, is also 129 euros. Um, yes, there you go. Um, I thought I'd better let everybody know how much it was. But it's... I cannot knock it. And as with everything, value for money is what you see as being value for money. So. So it's, it's a Rolls Royce model, really, isn't it? It's yes. definitely a Land Rover, yes. Rolls Royce. Land Rover. Rolls Royce. Land Rover. Bentley. <laughs> Bentley. Yeah, <right. laughs> Bentley. 359 US dollars, says Silver Zero. Max Drum just said, Hell's Teeth. Yes. <laughs> Bob says, Worth it there, though, Moon. Uh, Andy Leach says, Cheap. Um, and where can we get it? You can get it from. Uh, it's it's Metal Madness Vapors, mmvapors.co. No, 
www.ericsdrive.com, isn't it? Yes, hang on, we'll find out. Here it is. There's the site. There. Metal Madness Vapors, mmvapors.com. And that's the page with all of the Paul Diac V2 hybrids on. And there's the one I got, the Belial Hybrid 18650. That's it there. 249 euros plus postage. That's what it is. Nice and shiny when it landed. Not so much now. Um, I have to say, if I'd had any sense, I'd probably have got the satin stainless. Because I've got uh, I've got corrosive sweat. That was a deep sigh, Chris. No wonder I'm looking at the page of the hybrids. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll swap you this for your Mac Pro. Bugger off. No, no I like the two-tone. It... it, it emphasizes the quality to me i do think it's beautifully built i have to say there's even little markings on the side <coughs> where the wicks are so you know what you're lining up with everything and i haven't yet taken the time to do the full lineup um of of uh of the atomizer to where the button is because with dual wicks in it actually really doesn't matter that much they're about evenly spaced at the minute um, and it's it's just doing the biz really really nicely. So talking about wicks, I suppose I ought to play the video in of, of how I wicked it. Now, just to set the scene, I had not intended to record a whole load of this. I was just sitting down and pulling putting these wicks together, and I thought, right, I'll record this because by the time I get halfway through the show, as ever, my fingers are always covered in all kinds of clots. So I thought, right, I'll I'll. <laughs> there you go David well done I thought right I'll, I'll video that bit and then and it just got out of hand as you will see 17 minutes enjoy right so um, wicking this is the, the flat Rico stuff and I'm going to cut it a little bit oversize for what I'm going to do and a little bit of Canthal, which I'll just clip together and try and straighten off a little bit. And then the idea is, because this thing is open, you can slide it, the canthal that is, up the inside of the flat rake bit nor about his tights. And then you can take a chunk of the double knit and slide that up the inside of the flat reco like that and then you can cut the end off if you so desire it's actually as easy as that to create what is in effect a hybrid wick so I doubt there would be enough for two. Well, there might be. But that's basically how I'm making those wicks. It's, it's quite simple. Um, I'll make another one and try and show you it again. So I'll cut it off a little bit longer than we need. And then some of the flat, the, uh, the double knit. And using the bit of canthal that I've cut, we we'll just slide. Try and hope you can see this. Slide the reco onto that little bit of wire. Ignore about his tights. Sticking the end out. and then pull the double knit through and then you can cut it off or take the wire out whichever way you want to go I'll take the wire out just to show there you are two ways so that's two wicks pretty much done easy as so oh well while I'm here why not? Let's let's give it a blast and see if we can rewick the whole thing. So I shall take the top 
the chamber off the TNS and take the TNS and here we have it right now then it may require that we have something a better colour so bit more visible maybe I'm not sure I'm going to try and zoom in on that and see if we can't show you how it all comes together all right so let's see what we have here the uh, the deck of this is, is quite complicated really I'll take the fill tubes out and try and explain how it all works as we go let's first of all undo the negative nuts like so undo the positive end and I'll lift these wicks out and you can you can see what it looks like just put these to one side I'll not reuse them I'll redo it from scratch and this is going to be done as live so here I've got my two wicks that I've pre-prepared as you can see with all of the so they're ready to go and this is what I'm going to use as a former so it's quite wide and you'll see why and I'm going to make this quite uh, quite low homage double wicked so you've got to bear in mind that whichever homage you go with you're going to end up with effectively half of that so leaving a decent decent length on it I'm going to wrap one two three four five coils on there and snug them up really tight I want them good and tight here and the beauty about doing it this way of course is that you can then slot the whole thing into the deck you've all seen this methodology before and then I'm going to do the top connection first you'll see why and I want to pull it down into that bottom channel I don't want these too high I've just got to check it's in the right place and then just snug it down gently because there's going to be another one going in there and let's get the the bottom on again usual routine tighten that on screwdriver and just fasten that off and of course you want to get that good and good and tight and I'm not going to snip this loose end not yet but I will slip snip that end and then just snug it out of the way so that's one almost done but you, you might be able to see that there's a little wobbly bit here at the top so I'm just going to pull that a little bit tighter don't want it too tight though and I want to keep it in that fairly snugged off little area and then this former will pull out same thing again five coils so it's one two three four five snug them up good and tight like so and then in we go and again into the same gap now this is going to be right so now I can fasten that central 
so that's good and then the bottom one not easy to do this so you can see it snug that down no need to over tighten but that's it snugged and just sneak that down a bit right so we've now got two coils now I've got to do some snippage so there and we've got to be really careful that we don't have a short occurring in this section here between the two that the the nuts are quite quite small just going to make sure that one's fastened it is yeah it's held just right having done that then I just want to straighten the coils up a tad as you can see straight up and down is what I want and now comes the fiddly bit and patently obviously when you look at these wicks you can see that that's thicker so they're going to have to be thinalized and the way to do that as we've said before is a bit of juice on the, the, the cotton itself and between the fingers roll it just as you would in fact a mesh wick and that should then drop down the centre of the coil quite nicely as you can see and you, I can't see at the moment but you want that obviously right the way down to the bottom and there's a little bit further to go so all I'm doing is just screwing it down and when I say it's touching the bottom which it now is then that's that side done and I want to cut it off just below where the screw is and that gives a reservoir at the top and as you can see the coil touches it really nicely so when you put some juice on it expands you can see it's soaking in so you've got cork and wicking going there and in actual fact I think I can probably use let's just check it out that's probably going to be long enough so again little screw and then it goes and again just screwing it down you'll notice there's a right hand and a left hand to all of this and again I'm looking to see and I'm right at the bottom so that's good and I want to cut that off to the same height that down alrighty so that's all tapped down and into position and again bit of juice and let it soak in just make sure it's around everything and as you can see two identical coils and identical wicks the only thing I do want to do is just make sure that that is below that nut, slightly mushroomed and that gives a reservoir above the coil so that you've got that little bit of gravity fed 
Now, what I need to do is clag it back onto the polyac and let's see what we get. And you can see there that's running quite nicely. which is what we want. So now I've got to put in the fill tubes which slot into the walls and they held quite sturdily so that's good. Like that and then we put on Poldiac chamber at the top and the little slot in the chamber will grab itself in like that and you can just tighten it down like that, no need to go crackers again um, the fill holes are in the top, you can see them here and this rotates I'm trying to get this so you can see it and that's now when when it goes black when you can see the little rubber that's where you fill it from so what I shall do exactly that and fill it and that's possibly not going to focus so we'll just zoom out a little bit so that it does focus which will be interesting to say the least and we'll do some filling for which purpose I need a hypodermic this is completely off the cuff I hadn't actually intended to do this here's my hypodermic here's my juice and it's going to take a couple of mils I think just to top it back up but just to show you how easy it is and it is alrighty and you simply make sure that the two holes are open or one of the two holes is open that you can get to it and it needs another turn back there we go because when the that top cap screws on it actually closes everything off and start squeezing juice in keep an eye on this hole here That's it, by the looks of it, that's done. And then you just screw it down and that's it sorted. I'll just give it a wipe and then give it a vape. And that's how it's done the one I've just wicked. Tell the timestamps on the videos. That's nice. I'll blow one over there. Just like that. Back in two minutes. Save the six sponsors of the Haze Hour.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. Yes. <coughs> now, while we were here, away in the adverts, the question was asked, does it go through juice? The answer to that is yes. I've used 30 mils of uh, 15 milligram since Saturday, since Saturday, and I think I got through probably 40 mils on Saturday. The, the fact that it blows such great big billows, I mean, it's not a stealth device at all. <laughs> stealth device. Well, uh, it's not. It whacks it out. Yes, that's obvious, isn't it? <laughs> Why you laugh, Chris? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to think of you stealth and with that you'd blow up. Well done. <laughs> Either that or the vapour will come out the other end. <laughs> oh, well, we're not thinking sugar-free gummy bears, are we? <laughs> Some coming out of his ears, Chris. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I really do not know. I just do not know. Um, it's definitely as Lena, Lena Marie, Papa Torson. I'm just going to call her Lena after this. It is uh, right in your face device. Uh, if it's not blingy enough to, to gain attention, certainly the billows that you can get out of it are definitely enough. Like I say, I've got it kicked. I'm running it at 16 watts. I've got the two coils in there, which is why it's up at 16 watts. Um, but even on a 4.2, a, a standard 18650 with a single coil in, it still bats it out. Um, and I'm really quite pleased. Um, as very Boren's pointed out, you could not stealth this. You would pass out. Sure. because especially if you're lunging it um, but it works just as nicely with a normal suck and then inhale type inhale uh, it's a very nice piece of kit and I uh, I rather like it I rather like it um, time will tell and I'll keep coming back to it as uh, as we go forward and I'll, I'll as I say I would heartily recommend pardon me um, that you go and look at uh, Todd's reviews because he's looked at it I think he must have, he got his custom engraved for him though. Oh, right. Oh, yes. It's got Todd's reviews written on his. Right. Yes, engraved. But have a look. He, he pulls it to bits. And like I say, I'm not a reviewer. Uh, it's all good. Bats it out like a vape out of hell, Rithian. Yes. It bats it out, out like a, 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 yes, a vape out of hell. Before we go any further as well, um, I have... I get too confused if I watch chat too much, but I have picked up Phantom. I'm ever so pleased to see that you're here, Bonnie lad. Um, as, as we see up here, keep hard, tack it canny, look after yourself. Um, but I'm pleased you, you're okay and walking about and breathing. Um, those of you watching on video on demand, I'm not going to explain because I don't want to embarrass the lad, but it's nice to see you with us. Um, and that's, that's from the heart. Um, right, now, what else did we want to cover? I think we sort of touched on it with that um, Poldiac there, didn't we? Something that you can't do with a Poldiac. Stealthing. Yes. Stealthing. While, while we were up in Scotland, um, met up with G GMFC Fantasy. Andy Morrison, and Very Boring, and uh, Mod Destroyer, and she's well named on the forum, Mod Destroyer, <laughs> chucking mods all over the place, <laughs> it was funny to watch, um, and the Scots have been inventing things, and they have come up with the ultimate in stealth devices, and this is for use with, uh, with cigar likes, it has to be said. Andy Morrison gave me a prototype. This is something they've been working on for quite a while and it's fabulous and I want to show you it. I want to share this with you. Um, and, and when I've shared it with you, that'll be it, will be a way. So here we go. And, and it doesn't look like much. This is it here, okay? Um, and as you can see, it's got a little no smoke. And it's, it, 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 you would think it was an ASIG, but it's not. 
what you what you do is you get um, a, 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 a lucky lady. I'll, I'll I'll use this one. Um, and the whole idea behind it is that your lucky lady goes. I'm trying to do this on camera so you can see. It goes into this tube, right? You push it right in, and then you you need to put the cap on. And then, according to the instructions he gave me, the idea is to give it a little bit of a shake. And I'm trying to do this on camera so you can see exactly what's going on. As Rithian Man says, it looks a bit like a, 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 an eyeliner. Um, and at first I thought that, that, that you would actually use it in that, but what you know, it doesn't work that way. What happens is after you've given it a shake, it becomes the ultimate in stealth devices. Um, because the landlord will not be able to see what it is you're what? using. <laughs> what? So small, nobody will be able to know. Oh, God. <laughs> Obviously in April the first thing. So there you go, that's that's how that works. That is the <laughs> ultimate in stealth devices which Andy Morrissey <laughs> gave to me. Um, and I think that that's absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much for that Andy. I'll be using that everywhere I go. Just so that I can stealth. <laughs> well. I like that. started to take that seriously as <laughs> well. <laughs> Ultimate in stealth devices. Uh, just to answer a couple of questions that, that, that came up in chat uh, during the course of the video, it was 0.25 canthal I was using. Uh, and yes, it's all the hobby craft cotton and stuff like that. And yes, it goes through juice like there's no tomorrow. Any more we need to add to that, Chris? Well, other than the one you've just showed us, couldn't go through very much, could it? Juice wise. I was actually watching the shaking bit and I thought, well, how does this work? <laughs> Did I get you? Did what? I get you? Did I? It was on the wrong date. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say that exactly. It was close enough for jazz, wasn't it? But I do. <laughs> Absolutely excellent, that. I have to admit, I fell. What have it. you done? It's, it's all gone. It's oh, all it's gone. come back. There you go. It had all gone to hell in a handcart there. Um, so that just about brings <laughs> us round to time, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Paul Mellish, Melhuish Mellish, has asked, how do you wick that? <laughs> very carefully. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> very boring. Just said, next big E6, E6 summit. If you can do that in front of McKee in Hastings, it would be something I'd love to see. So would Ali. Um, <laughs> all I can say is, your wish is my command. I will do that in front of them and 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 really seriously uh it was it was wonderful spending time with andy and, and vb and uh, and mod destroyer while we were up there in glasgow they were the perfect hosts absolutely the perfect hosts and those of you that were at the knees meet on saturday they know the story of why i was called a perfect gentleman i'm going no further than that and mark jones if you ever publish any of those photographs that you took on Saturday, you're a dead man. <laughs> it's as easy as that. <laughs> Guess who's got them? Oh no! Oh, on, the, <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> oh, they could find themselves there. You're worrying me now, Chris. Careful <laughs> where you put the drawing pins. What? <laughs> uh, that's what you said. It's 22 hours, my computer has just told me so. In which case, that's our hour up and we have to go. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a joy and a pleasure to spend the last hour with you. Uh, I sincerely hope and trust that all of you continue in good health and better health. Um, and really, that's all I can say about that. I want to say a big thank you to Chris and to Keith for joining me, as per usual, and, and the backroom team. Sprotty, the information's been passed to me, and I'll be talking to you. Um, that's something that, that uh, we'll, we'll need to have a look at. Um, what else? Yes, don't forget to tune in tomorrow for Marco um, at 9 o'clock, as per usual, for Vita Scene, uh, followed by our German language programme, DE Talk. Um, and then on Wednesday night, is Gary back? 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wednesday, no, we're still doing Team Talk it's on Wednesday. Team Talk on Wednesday. On Thursday, the Tea Talk, then a couple of nights off, date nights, and Dave will be back with Dave's Tackle Box on Sunday, but every night after Vapertrails.tv, RY4 Radio is spinning the wheels of steel to entertain you. Don't forget to tune into them. Um, like I say, it's been a great pleasure, and yet again, chat's been absolutely marvellous. So until we see you next time, vape on, vape hard, and don't let the bastards grind <laughs> you down. Until we see you again, from all of us here, cheerily bye. Bye-bye. 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 Don't forget your stealth devices.